Hello, I'm Paul Price, the Director of Education and Accreditation for the Association of Surgical Technologists. I would like to invite you to learn more about the fast-growing profession of surgical technology. During this presentation, I will try to answer your questions about beginning a career in surgical technology. Would you like to become a part of this exciting surgical environment? If so, a career in surgical technology may be right for you. What is a surgical technologist? A certified surgical technologist, or CST, is an allied health professional who works as part of the surgical team to ensure that the operative procedure is conducted under optimal conditions. Who are the members of the surgical team and what are their functions? Surgical team members function in two capacities, non-sterile and sterile. The non-sterile team members are the circulator and the anesthesia provider. In certain situations, other personnel such as the radiology technologist or pathologist may also be present. The circulator is a registered nurse, licensed practical or vocational nurse, or a surgical technologist. Some of the circulator's duties include preparing the operating room, interviewing the patient preoperatively, transporting the patient to the OR, assisting the anesthesia provider, prepping the patient, connecting various cords and tubings, providing additional items to the sterile field during the procedure, maintaining the patient's operative record, and affixing the dressing. The anesthesia provider may be either a physician or a certified registered nurse anesthetist. Some of the anesthesia provider's duties include administering the anesthetic, monitoring the patient's vital signs, and providing any supportive measures during the surgical intervention. The sterile team members are the surgical technologist in the scrub role, or STSR, the surgeon, and the surgical first assistant. The surgical technologist functions in a sterile capacity during the surgical procedure, but also performs many non-sterile duties throughout the course of the workday. The main sterile functions of the surgical technologist are creating and maintaining the sterile field, entering the sterile field and assisting team members as they enter the sterile field, organizing the sterile instruments, equipment, and supplies for use, assessing and anticipating the needs of the patient and surgeon throughout the procedure and providing the necessary items in order of need. The surgeon performs the necessary procedure. The surgeon may be a medical doctor, doctor of osteopathy, doctor of podiatric medicine, or a doctor of dental science. The surgical first assistant may be a physician or non-physician. The duties of the first assistant include assisting the surgeon by providing visualization of the surgical site through a retraction of tissue, suctioning, and sponging, assisting with achieving hemostasis and suturing body planes. What career opportunities will be available to me once I become a certified surgical technologist? The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that a 32% increase in demand for surgical technology is expected over the next five years. Most CSTs are employed in hospital surgery departments, obstetric departments, and ambulatory care centers. However, the following employment options are also available to you once you gain experience in the field of surgical technology. You may specialize in an area that interests you, such as cardiac, orthopedic, or pediatric surgery. Other career opportunities include private employment by a surgeon, employment as a traveling surgical technologist, employment as a surgical first assistant, employment by a veterinary surgeon or animal care facility, employment by a medical corporation to represent their products, employment in the material management or central sterile supply area, employment as a supervisor, or employment as a surgical technology instructor. You should understand that some of these positions will require that you further your education. What salary can I expect to earn once I enter the workforce as a certified surgical technologist? The salary for the surgical technologist varies throughout the nation. You can supplement your salary by taking call and working overtime. What type of education is required to enter the field of surgical technology? 
To qualify to take the Surgical Technologist Certification Exam, you must be a graduate of a KHEP accredited Surgical Technology Program. KHEP is the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. Surgical Technology Programs range in length from nine months to two years. You may be required to take some classes prior to acceptance into the Surgical Technology Program. Your coursework will include medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, microbiology, and pharmacology. Additionally, you will learn about surgical instruments, equipment and supplies, basic patient care concepts, the principles of asepsis and practice of sterile technique, and surgical procedures. Other courses may include robotics, computer science, and biomechanics. Learning occurs in the classroom, mock surgery setting, and under supervision in the actual operating room. The graduate may earn a diploma or an associate degree. The associate degree is the preferred academic degree for surgical technology.